This presentation looks at optimizations performed by the MPLAB XC8 C compiler that might result in unexpected behavior when debugging. Optimization actions, how these manifest themselves when debugging a project, and how these are deactivated are all discussed. A C compiler turns C source code into assembly instructions. A C program is a description of how that assembly code should execute, but only at a functional level. It does not indicate how the generated code has to operate, nor does it indicate when any observable change must take place. Compiler optimizations attempt to improve the generated code without altering the observable operation of the program. Code size optimizations aim to reduce the number of instructions it takes to produce the required behavior, and these usually reduce execution times as well. Dedicated speed optimizations reduce the execution time, but might increase code size. Source level stepping, breakpoints and variable watches require an accurate mapping between the C source and the corresponding assembly. Changes made by optimizations can alter this mapping, but will never change the operation of your program. Being aware of the possible changes made by optimizations will help you analyze code operation. So let's now look at some of the optimizations you might encounter. This first optimization is one that removes variables that are never used. In this code example, the compiler would remove the aptly named C variable, I'm never used, so that it has no memory allocated, its assembly symbol will not appear in the list or map files, and no debug information will be associated with it. You would not be able to watch this variable when running or simulating the code, just as if you had never typed the definition at all. Global variables marked as volatile will not be removed. No unused objects are removed in the standard or free compiler operating mode. Another optimization removes statements that assign values not used by subsequent code. A breakpoint set on any deleted statement will show a broken breakpoint indicator in MPLAB XIDE, and execution will not stop. In the example shown, the value assigned to I'm never used is never read, so that assignment is removed. The optimizer then detects that I'm never used is now never referenced, and is removed by the optimization we saw in the previous slide. Assignments to volatile variables will never be removed by this optimization. Here is an example of code where the variable I'm never used is assigned a value, incremented and compared with a constant, but it still does not contribute to the program's operation. In the example, since the unsigned object, I'm never used, can never be less than zero, and the controlling expression in the if statement must always be false, the compiler will see that the entire if statement can be removed. Since I'm never used is no longer compared, Incrementing this object has no effect, and its assigned value is never used. Now the program makes no reference to I'm never used, and the variable is removed entirely. When optimizing if statements, the compiler will remove the true substatement if the controlling expression is always false, or make the true substatement unconditional if the expression is always true. If there is an else part to the comparison, its false substatement is optimized in the same way, but with the reversed sense of consideration. Specifying I'm never used as volatile in this example will defeat this optimization. So far, it's looking like any program you write will be optimized away entirely. So, what stops this happening? The question is really how does the compiler know what is functionally significant in your program? The C language uses the volatile specifier, which I have already mentioned, to indicate that an object might be associated with an observable aspect of your program's execution, and that optimizations must take this into account before being performed. Objects specified as volatile might be special, and assignments to such objects can never be removed by the compiler. They might also be modified in ways unknown to the compiler, so optimizations that make assumptions about their value or cache an assigned value in temporary locations must be avoided. In the preceding examples, assignments to special function registers, like TRISB, were never removed unless the assignment could never possibly execute. 
This is because the register symbols are defined using volatile in their header files. The observable aspects of writing to device registers should be quite obvious. You should use the volatile specifier to ensure your program behaves the way you intend. You can also use it to temporarily assist with debugging. Objects should be specified as being volatile if they can be altered by something other than C code, for example handwritten assembly code or by hardware. If variables can be accessed by an interrupt routine, they should also be marked as volatile. So too if they affect any observable aspect of your code. But note that code required to read and write volatile objects might be larger and slower, and this specifier does not address any issues relating to atomic access of objects. So only use it when necessary. Tracking the content of variables is another optimization that can cause confusion. If a variable is not modified before it is read, its known value can be used directly without having to read the variable from memory. In the example shown here, the compiler would replace the variable known with its assigned value, 40 hex, then fold the resulting expression so that lat b is directly assigned the constant value 42 hex. Use a lower operating mode or make the variable volatile to disable this optimization. But note that a simple loop like that shown is enough to prevent the compiler from making this change. The compiler considers implied initial values when looking for constant propagation optimizations. In this example, the global variable 0 is not initialized, so must be cleared by the runtime startup code. Since this variable is never modified, the controlling expression in the if statement will always be false, and the if statement can be removed, leaving only the false substatement. Since the object local is now assigned only once before being used, its known value is directly assigned to lat b. The assignment to local can now be removed, as can both variables local and zero. The MPLAB XC8 compiler can determine the program's call graph. Functions not in this graph are removed by the compiler, as if they'd never been defined. MPLAB X IDE will produce a warning to say that breakpoints cannot be set on any statement in a removed function. If you plan to call a C function only from assembly code, note that this optimization is automatically disabled as soon as you reference the function's symbol in assembly code. Using the symbol's name in a global directive is sufficient. Note that functions cannot be specified as volatile. There are two assembly optimizations that can have a big impact on debugging, and these are inlining and reverse inlining. The latter is also known as procedural abstraction. Inlining optimizations replace calls to a routine with the assembly content of that routine. This can increase execution speed by not having to make the call in return, but it can also reduce code size if the routine body is very small. If all calls to the routine can be inlined, then the original routine might also be removed. Reverse inlining is where multiple instances of an identical sequence of assembly instructions are replaced with a call to one abstracted copy of that routine. This can substantially reduce code size. Both inlining and reverse inlining optimizations can cause a debugger to show wrong C line information when pausing or stepping. Breakpoint behavior can become erratic, and auto variables might be shown as being out of scope. Selecting the debug optimization setting will disable inlining and reverse inlining optimizations, but will allow other assembly optimizations to take place. C compilers are able to alter their generated output as long as it does not change any observable behavior of your program. The MPLAB XC8 C compiler optimizations shown in the previous slides are just some of the ways that this can be done. If you are experiencing difficulty stepping through code, setting breakpoints, or variables are marked as out of scope or are shown to have the wrong value in the watch view, there are a number of things that you can try. First, enable the debug optimization setting. If this has no effect, try using a lower compiler operating mode, or specifying variables in the statement you are trying to analyze as volatile. In most instances, 
These steps allow you to build and debug your code successfully.